I am sad that we're here this afternoon, uh, mostly because it so demeans this legislative body to try to pretend that we can do what we know we can't. Now, Alice in Wonderland was able to believe 10 impossible things before breakfast, but we have the rules. It's written down what we can do here and what we cannot do. This bill, I think, is more fitting as part of Grimm's fairy tales than any kind of proposed legislation, because every one of us knows that there is no way to have legislation become a bill without both houses acting on it, a conference committee if necessary, and the signature of the President of the United States. Now, it's more like dream and pass, I think, than anything else I could think of. Um, do my colleagues actually believe that majority has bestowed upon them some kind of supernatural and magical powers that they can make all that go away? Haven't you been haunted since you brought this up by Thomas Jefferson and his manual that we have been following since he was here among us? I am seriously hoping that no children's minds are being warped here today. I worry about what they are seeing here grown people doing. And I want to recommend to all of them, and maybe to all of us as well, that there is a Schoolhouse Rock video called I'm Just a Bill, and it will give us a tutorial on how a bill is passed. Having been here for a decade or so, I know how a bill is passed because I've had a lot of trouble getting it done. But never, never has anybody ever talked about the idea that one house can pass a bill and simply decide that's going to be the law of the land. I, when I heard it yesterday, you know, it's, it's been a strange time anyway. I've got to say that. I, I just really have to admit the last three months, uh, I've heard a lot of things that Alice in Wonderland would not have believed. But when I heard that yesterday, I didn't believe I had really heard that. And when I saw all my colleagues standing around the speaker saying that, Mr. who happened to be Mr. Cantor, and nobody raised an eyebrow that whether or not we could do this thing. And numerous members of the press, politically savvy, educated, and wonderful people, not a one of them said a word about this, as though this was something that we do all the time. I haven't got time to go through the record of the Congress of the United States, but I think I would almost bet my life that no Congress, practically no legislative body, except maybe Wisconsin, has ever tried anything like this before. So we got nine days. We are doing nothing here to prevent a government shutdown. We're wasting time again. Uh, and instead of trying to spin straw into gold, which we, I think, know we can't do, I wish we could just stop dawdling and get to some legislation that would give Amen. some confidence Boy. in America. Boy, am I with you on that Let one. me tell you that if you think this is going to give confidence in do. America, I'd be surprised if they don't demand an IQ test. Stop the dawdling. The House of Boy, I'm, I, am, I, am all, I am all for that. Stop the dawdling.